Hey guys, Mr. Rob here, and today we are doing something new. We are doing story time. So pretty much what story time is, is I talk about uh, events that have occurred in my life. Um, whether that be serious, funny, you know, just normal, interesting stories. And uh, yeah, so let's get into the story. So back in 2013, I was in year 11 and I had my license, but it was only my elves, so that's the learner's license, and uh, we have to get a hundred hours up to be, get our P's, which is where we can drive without an adult. I had it for a while, but I hadn't done any serious driving. I'd only driven on old dirt roads where no people were there, and just getting, getting to know the car. So at the end of year 11, uh, at my school, we did this leadership camp. It was called Year 11 Camp. And pretty much what it would be, it was, it was just a big group of us in Year 11, and we would um, do group activities to gain leadership skills. And yeah, so the day before that, I needed to buy some water-friendly shoes, because we do like canoeing and, and hiking and crap like that. And so, I didn't have any of those, so yeah, I wanted to buy some. Me and Dad decided uh, we would go for a drive, but I didn't feel like going for a drive that day. I was tired, I was nervous about the camp, I, I just didn't, I didn't want to drive. So, I told my mum, I'm like, Mum, I, I don't want to drive today because I'll crash, just being overly dramatic, as always. And mum's like, no, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. So I wasn't that happy, but that's fine. I, it was my first big drive in into like another, another city from my hometown. And it was on one of the busiest days of the week. So lots and lots of traffic. And it was nerve wracking, but I got there safely. And then we went to a Kmart and came up that thing. And so yeah, I we, we got to Kmart where I was gonna buy my shoes because I didn't want to spend that much on shoes. And dad's like, radio, you need to park. Yeah. Never even occurred to me that what would happen in the next five minutes would happen <laughs> in my lifetime. So yeah, we pretty much were parking, it was super duper busy, I was freaking out, I really wanted like someone else to park for me. I'm going in, I'm just about to hit the car, he's like, stop, 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 stop. And uh, I'm like, okay, so I reverse back, I try again, and then then I, <laughs> I went to do the same thing again. But then instead of uh, saying stop, Dad um, quickly fixes me up, helping me out, and I started freaking out because it was unexpected. Dad kind of just jumped over, but it wasn't his fault that I, I got scared, I just, I just wasn't expecting it. And in a split second, instead of pushing on the brakes, I pushed on the accelerator. I drove off a cliff onto um, incoming traffic. Yeah, we just drove over and went down and at the end, at the bottom of the at the bottom of the cliff there's like a little like a little thing to a little drain for water. So pretty much we just landed in into that and then we sat up for like a few seconds, just up like that. Well it felt like a lifetime and I remember just seeing the road in front of me. Next thing I remember, we were upside down, and there was glass everywhere. You know in movies when they're upside down, and then they um, unbuckled themselves, and then they like smashed to the roof? That, that, that's what happened. I was sitting there, and Dad's like, it's gonna be okay, everything's okay, we're okay. <laughs> and just reassuring me, and, but I was, I was stressed out. Not, I, I was crying, as you would, but I wasn't crying because I was hurt. I was crying because I had just broken and smashed and totaled my parents' car. And then I just heard this really intense scraping sound. It was one of the scariest, scariest moments 
what it was, it was a man and he was helping me get out. Because it was flattened, the car was flattened uh, because of all the force that it had fallen onto. So this guy was helping me out and yeah, everything was fine. No one was hurt, me and dad were fine. I'll put a photo of the accident here. And um, yeah, it, as you can see, it, it's pretty bad. Pretty much what happened after that uh, we went to the hospital. What I got told is that, um, that it was a 50-50 chance. I either get out, fine, nothing wrong with me, or major damage and maybe even death. So, very lucky to be alive. So there you go guys, that's, um, that's, that's my story, that's, that's a story. I've got many more to come if you like this video. I thoroughly enjoyed making it. It's nice to nice to tell people, you know, so that they know the things that you've been in. It's a very serious-ish video. I'm always making stuff happier than they usually are. And I got a new camera. Well, we got a new camera. Bill and I got a new camera. And yeah, so tell me what you think. Um, we will be getting a better microphone, so this audio that you hear now is crap. And yeah, so we'll be getting a shotgun microphone. Um, it's just the uh, Nikon D5200. It, and yeah, we just wanted to get a camera because we're film students and we didn't have a good camera. So if you like the video, just chuck a like down there. Um, comment if you want more of these. I'm probably going to do it anyway. I want to give a quick shout out to this guy. This guy here, his name's Jackson, or Shades, and yeah, uh, be sure to subscribe to him. Uh, we'll be doing some videos together later on. And yeah, have a good day guys. See ya.